Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophynet and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. I'm gonna do something rather stupid uh, today because I want to return to Sunfall after we just narrowly escaped the sun ring over there. So if I'm not mistaken, we should be able to access the tents. To the Better use that oh yeah, I need to equip that disguise. So let's do just that. Let's check my outfits. Shadow Stalwart Light. The, this Kestrel armor will make for a good disguise and steals its wear against blinding effects. Highly customizable, although there's only one modification slot. So I don't feel like that's highly customizable. So there we go. Outfit equipped. Maybe we should get off the Strider. There we go. And we're gonna do the quest that that uh, dark hair, dark skinned woman, Vanasha. Uh, talk to us about so she wanted to meet us outside in the tents here so this shouldn't be too far off there we the go food is from dowager queen nasadi little ones her highness knows times are hard and helps when she can eat bring some home for your families if you have one i've heard whispers about you Rides machines, fancy spear, delightful freckles. Oh, hello there. Some even say you have a conscience. <laughs> How extraordinary. Who are you? You're obviously not one of the Shadow Karja. My name is Vanasha. For now, all you need to know is that I'm a whisper of reason in this howling pit of insanity. <sighs> I know how that feels. I'm sure you do. And so does Uthid. He's a good man, so naturally the Shadow Karja want to murder him. I've done some digging, and I think he's headed for the Green Climb. It won't take those mercenaries long to find him. He could use some help, if you're so inclined. I think we are pretty inclined, but tell me more about you first. Stop being evasive and tell me who you really are. Stop being evasive? You might as well tell me to stop being charming. It's impossible, but I like you, so I'll tell you a secret. I have friends in Meridian, and I like to do favors for them when I can. Uthid might be of use to them, if he survives. Okay, the lip-syncing is quite off there, but uh, tell me more about Uthid then. Why would you help him? How do you know Uthid is innocent? I'm excellent at making inquiries. Look. He feeds orphans from his own rations and personally punishes anyone who hurts the old or infirm. The idea that he would try to kill Edaman is ridiculous. He must have found something that can embarrass the priesthood. Otherwise, Bahavas wouldn't risk marking such a well-regarded man for death. Okay, and where and what is the green climb exactly? What makes you think that guard in the climb? background is kind of freaking he knows out. He will be pursued. So, he needs a hideout that's both familiar and defensible. He once single-handedly held off an entire bandit clan in those foothills. My guess is that it will fall back on what worked before. Okay, seems like a reasonable uh, assessment, so I'll help Uthid if I can. I'll do what I can for Uthid. But what about you? What about me what? What will you do while I risk my life? Useful things, little huntress. Look for three dead trees south of Sunfall. They mark the start of the green climb. Good luck. Okay, sounds like a plan. So let's head over there. The three dead trees with capital letters apparently. So that must be a place instead of something else. Fox! Whew, went through a few high risk areas there. But it uh, seems like we're getting out on top. Don't think anything is following me anymore. And yeah, we're back on a, on that overridden strider that Silence gave us, because I never actually swapped uh, mounts, so that's pretty good. A shell walker mis Wait. The marker's over there, so I'm just gonna cut straight over there. Okay. Three dead trees, just like Vanasha said. Let's see if we could camp over here. Let's follow the tracks. The tracks going this way? Oh, come on. Yeah, I'll get off. All right, I'll get off. And get this. Nope, nope. God damn it. That's annoying. I wanted to pick up this. Pick you. Okay. That's... These tracks lead up that rise. Must be the green climb. 
There we go. And it's going over there. So uh, I'm going to start following the path. And if anything happens, you'll see me again. And hear me again. Foot track stop here. Time to climb. Here we go. Ready to uh, climb the green climb. Go to the top of the green climb. Shouldn't be too hard, I think. Because we've... Uh, We've climbed up a lot more steeper hills than this. And a lot more a lot higher as well. So uh see you guys at the top in a second. Oh there's another cauldron over there as well. That might be interesting. Hello? Oh, there we go. He's going back up. And there we go. Made it. Where did you go, Uthid? Food scraps. I'll bet Uthid stopped to see if he was being followed. Okay, so let's check them out. I must have kept going. I've got to catch up. Okay, I think the only way he could have gone is over there. So let's keep following this track. And I see the fault from over here, the cauldron from over here. Probably have a bit further over there. But that might be a very interesting thing to do in the in maybe the next episode. Because cauldrons are always nice. Hello, bunny. Nope, he's rolling down the mountain. There we go. Okay, that was a really violent rabbit all of a sudden. I think he stopped yeah, over there near the rock. A dead machine. This had been hunting. Yeah, indeed. Just gonna add a few more arrows to my, uh, oh, to my bow. Because I think, yes, I saw a boar. Boars are always handy to, ooh, look at those three arrows. Examine the destroyed grazer. I will, I will Everything take it easy. Everything useful has been stripped. Aside, aside from the... Uthid's been gathering components, probably from animal. What the hell? Oh, hi. And I don't think everything useful has been uh, removed, because uh, the blaze canisters are still on there. Yeah, get down, get down. Jeez, those trees are annoying. Goodbye. Ow. Shit, I heard him, but just a little bit too late. Woo. Um, Why is he running away from me like that? Come on, die. Die. Where do you go from here? There we go. Glint Hawks destroyed. They do like using Glint Hawks as enemies, don't they, in this game? Because always, if something goes wrong, in the last few episodes, it's been Glint Hawks. Uh, let's just craft a few extra things, because I'm running out of pretty much everything. And it's good to uh, empty my supplies a bit, because I'm running... Uh... Well, they're starting to fill up a bit too much, so... Wouldn't mind getting everything back to full and emptying out my inventory a bit, because I'm getting too many supplies. Oh, where the hell do I need to go? Oh, okay then. The hell out the track or not? Where the hell? So we came from up there. So we need to check from the yeah. The, has been stripped. There we go. From the grazer and moving further. Here we go again. Uthid took down a ravager. Not an easy kill, but worth it for the parts. Looks like the most basic parts are Red still Rogers. available. More scrap for Uthid's stockpile. And for us, because there's still a lot in there, apparently. Oh, and it's turning dark all of a sudden. Oh. Hello? No, no, no. Aloy. We're not here to fight. The next one doesn't miss. Uthid? 
You're young for a bounty hunter. Or am I old for a soldier? I'm not here for the price on your head, Uthid. I believe you're innocent. Innocent? <laughs> Come on, then. If this is a trick, it's a good one. You've earned your kill. Okay, that was way too easy. You are way too trusting for a man ready to uh, defend an entire mount. And suddenly the sun is there. Great. Hello, Uthid. Uthid. No tricks. Kinda looks like Hanzo. Just talk. All right. Speak. I want to know what happened at Sunfall. What really happened. All right. For weeks, each dawn in the tent city came with a new death. Always in their sleep, no struggle. The old, the infirm, sometimes the young. Those who couldn't fight for the cause. I should have realized then it was a culling. Who would do such a thing? They thought it was a curse, an evil spirit. But it was only a man. And a silent poison. It took time to catch him, but we did. We brought him before Bahavas for the sun's judgment. So Bahavas is the guy we saw who took uh, control of Sunfall instead of the, the little kid. Um, I kind of forgot his name. The high priest Bahavas? He's the one who put the bounty on you. Yes. He thanked me for my diligence, then had his guards release the villain. You see? It was he who ordered the culling. Then they turned on us. Should have died with my men, so their loyalty meant something. Twenty years I gave to the sun. For what? Malice and murder? As for honor, sacrifice, true sacrifice, the kind priests and rulers know nothing of? It's all a fat joke. I do like his armor, by the way, but there's something I don't understand. Why do they revere that kid as the... As the sun. If it's honor you seek, the sun card just seemed trustworthy. A little stuck up, maybe, but trustworthy. Those cards you once raided your Nora lands. Raided every land we could reach. It was the sun's will. I did what I was told. Others did worse. But as their captain, I had- Uthid, I don't care what you did. I, I can't absolve you. But the Karja are changing their ways. You could too. Perhaps. Yeah, Avad perhaps doesn't indeed. doesn't understand what the sun demands of its soldiers. Perhaps he understands it too well. Now you sound like the blameless Murad. <laughs> Maybe a bit. And what about the Shadow Karja? I can believe you're a good man. But why go with the Shadow Karja in the first place? Why serve them? Because of Itaman, of course. He was the one true Sun King. But why? He's just a child. Yes, an untainted vessel. I believed he was pure, but they used him. Yeah, indeed. Used our faith. I can see that now. No shadows under a noonday sun. Bahavas didn't need to disgrace my name. I did it myself, serving a rotten throne. So I still don't get it, because that that kid, that Itherman, can't be the... Because Avald is the son of the previous Sun King, so... Where am I missing things? Well, time to go then. I met someone who wants to get you out of this. A woman named Banasha. But first, we need to get you out of here. What are you? You look like a oh, hunter. Oh, gold. You give orders Did like she... a soldier who's been out. Yeah. Mercenaries. Think they'll all line up to tell me I'm innocent? Should have stayed on the plains, Kaja! Oh, the and they have the higher ground. Keycooks killers! There's the little dudes. When we're done with you, you won't even leave an echo. You didn't make it hard to be followed. Almost as if you wanted to go out in a showdown. Not much gets by you. <laughs> Indeed. Me, um, can I move? I reached level 40, apparently. Oh, damn it. There we go, in the face. Move in. And in the face. Oh wow, okay. Oh wow, wow. they just they just spawned in, didn't they? And in the face. Follow me. I stacked supplies up above. We have supplies here as well, so gimme give gimme give just a few seconds. We're gonna just loot this entire place. Here we go. 
Let's boost each other up. I've always found it interesting that Aloy is the one giving the boost and not the other way around, which is really, really empowering in this case. Up and over. Grab what you can while we still have time. I think I already grabbed what I could, but maybe I should place some traps. That might be interesting. Um, so let's put a blast wire over here, one over here. Ooh, oh, okay, that wasn't a lot of time to prepare. What's going on? Oh, hi. Hi. Those are also Ram bounty hunters. A robust defense is the most satisfying to break. All right, Marbles. We brought the priest out here, so let's put on a show for him. Oh, the priest is even here. Bahavos. That might be I interesting. Know that hood. We've unfinished business, Bahavos and I. This oh. will be difficult. I think you rallied to a lost cause. I don't intend to die today, Uthid. I did. But you're starting to change my mind. Good, because I'd like you to fight like your life depended on it. Um, I'm going to set, set more traps for now. Jesus Christ. Oh, I'm stuck. Down their defenses. Yeah. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> and down he goes, and then that final guy up there. That was in your face, dude. And that as well. That's the last of the marvels. Stay on the Bahavas thought he had enough fodder to keep him safe. Now there's hope for justice. Oh. Will you come with me? Everything just despawned. Yes, I'm gonna come with you, but Jimmy, just five seconds. Five seconds. Oh nobody triggered that bomb, but those traps did they work beautifully. And after that looting, we're gonna continue on, because I don't know what else is gonna happen at the moment. Just gonna get the normal health potion go going. There we go, climb up latch. Oh yeah, I got the skill so I can get my traps back, so I didn't need to make more. Because there's still one over there. I don't know where those lights are coming from. How does she make lights? Or does she have a bunch of those? It kind of looked like he was walking away from us, but... This won't be easy. Bahavas still has his personal guard. Dude, we just killed 30 guys and girls. Women. Men and women. So, I don't think those five guys surrounding him are going to be a problem. What the hell is this? Uh, it looks like something can crash through it. All more bodies to loot. Just going to quickly do this. Can't carry more. Nope. Okay. Moving on. There we go. More healing. Across there, and we'll have him. Stuff, and then more supplies. They are filling us up a bit, cause, but that might be to just uh, take care I of the things we've lost. I had to come here myself to end your suffering, Uthid, and mine. The Outlanders led us here. And now that they are dead, their price is most affordable. But enough with That's needles. That's very weird logic. It's time for blades. Remove them from the sun's sight. Why do you think those three guys are going to make a difference? I'm going to murder the F out of them. After. Okay. Scalp the savage. Feel it. <sighs> Just gonna place a few more traps. The sun sets on your pathetic life. Uthe. Oh shit. Oh shit, I'm out of ammo. Let's make some more bombs. Use bombs. Kill a traitor! Kill a Nora! Oh. Oh. 
Okay. I used health potions, please. Wow, wow. Make it hurt. my turn. As the shadow falls upon them. Why is he going for me? Up to his perch. Goodbye. So the guards are down. I'm gonna take a few of my traps back. There we go. Carry this guy's stuff. I've got something for you, Bahavas. Gonna kill him with this? No? Can't, do I need to talk to Bahavas? Okay then. Fine. I was gonna kill him, but apparently we need to talk to the man. Giddy up. Oh, he's gonna... Is he gonna go for it without... Okay, never mind. Now would be the perfect opportunity for Bahavas to stab him in the back. Whatever deal you worked out with him, I'll double it. More than double it. No. I'm tired of this, Bahavas. The lies and the violence in your cheap scented oils. I don't suppose you'd kill yourself. I had to. I had to. Prune the weak, or all the Karja and Shadow are doomed. This solves nothing. But may the sun find some worth among your drying bones. Oh, stab. <laughs> Goodbye. Yep. Yeah. Goodbye, Bahavas. That is interesting. So that's why Helis was the one throwing us in the sun ring, because we technically could have done this before that was we headed down to Project show. Zero Dawn. You took your time. I was busy. What do you think happened to Yan Shand, the other mercenary band? And I had to organize passage to Meridian for a wanted man. Give us a moment, Uthid. Girl talk. <laughs> Bow chicka wow. You've had okay. quite a day. I never imagined Bahavas would blunder into his own trap. His death opens up wonderful possibilities. Remember Edaman and Nasadi? The Child King and his mother guarded like hostages at Sunfall? With Bahavas gone, no one will be watching them. I want to get them out. And I could use your help. That sounds like a plan, actually. Nasadi and Edaman. Kidnapping the Sun King of the Shadow Karja is no small task. It's not kidnapping. They want to go to Meridian, to safety. How do you know that? I've been posing as Nasadi's handmaiden. She's scared. For herself, of course, but mostly for Edaman. Okay, and why would you help them? Why do you care what happens to them? Edaman is the Shadow Karja's figurehead. If he defects, it will remove their last trace of legitimacy. Beyond that, he's just a boy who clings to his mommy. He made a little grazer for me out of matchsticks once. It wasn't very good, but still, nobody ever made anything for me before. Okay, so you're really, really happy for some reason about that. So, Uthid. What's going to happen to Uthid now? Don't worry. You gave him a second life, and I'll put it to good use. He'll be welcomed in Meridian as a military advisor. Hopefully he can help Avad finish the Shadow Karja with as little bloodshed as possible. Sounds very good. And what about Bahavas' corpse? What's going to happen at Sunfall now that Bahavas is dead? Oh, it will be glorious. The priests will panic. They'll be infighting, skullduggery, and backstabbing as they wrangle for power. Best of all, they'll be distracted. Bahavas, your life brought misery, but your death is a flower that blooms in abundance. So technically, I could make Sunfall friendly to me if I manage to uh, help Idaman. What do you need to get Nasadi and Idaman out of Sunfall? With Bahavas dead, Sunfall is the easy part. I'll handle that. The big fuss will be crossing the border to the Sundom. Find my friend, Three Tohuadiv, near the branded shore. I hired his crew to sweep the path, so all you have to do is wait for me. If this... Why Eve has already cleared the area, why do you need me? Contingencies, little huntress. Something will go wrong, and I need protection I can count on. You. I'll try not to disappoint. I don't trust her. I really, really don't trust her. The so, but that is me. Traitor's Bounty. Are we bound for Meridian? 
Only if you want to go, my dear. What choice do I have? The Queen's Gambit. None at all. I was just being polite. Okay, so talk to Trito Huadiv. Uh, I'm just gonna what use my skill points. Welcome me after I serve. Or dialogue. Enemies. He's a forgiving man. Just smile a lot. You can't smile, can you? No, that's that's a grimace. <laughs> okay then, fair enough. Um, I'm just gonna use my skill points and Tell then uh, going to I'm gonna end I'm the gonna episode right over here on the ice with my broken ankles. So skills, and I'm, then of course we were going for what were we going for? No, I got thinker, so I don't really need that anymore. Increased chance for extra resources when looting down machines. Not really need that. Maybe it's high time I start upgrading my spear strikes. So let's just go for precision plus. Light spirit attacks have a greatly increased chance to knock off armor and components. And there we go. Because we're starting to uh, have everything available. There's only six, eight, eight skills left to uh, go for. With uh, three skill points each, that's 24 skill points still I need to get. So yeah, it's still a lot of work. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, what the hell is going on? Why is he here? Well, if you haven't already, don't forget to give it a thought to subscribe to my channel. Because I'd really, really appreciate any support you guys can give me. So thanks again, enormously for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video series. Goodbye!